together with Roma and Ariel's parents, Helen and Abby, it's my job to welcome you here today. We're thrilled to be celebrating Sophie and Ariel's wedding at last. <laughs> Sophie and Ariel have been together for about five years and they met by swiping right, whatever that means. So after a long courtship, a slightly sheepish Ariel knocked on our door about nine o'clock one morning with a bottle of whiskey for me and a bunch of flowers for Rona. And I knew he was after something and I knew what he was after. We said yes, go with our blessing. And he proposed to Sophie that evening on Primrose Hill with a engagement ring from Argos and with a bottle of champagne but no glasses. You look beautiful today. You have our full support for the next stages of your life and may you only have good health and happiness. I met Ariel back in 2010. It was the first day of training for a job working as in-game technical supports for LEGO Universe. He introduced himself as Rel, short for Ariel, but I misheard him. So for about four months, I called him Rolo. We bonded over a love for saving the galaxy from Reapers, an alien race intent on wiping out humanity. The important thing to realize here, folks, is that Sophie has bagged herself a galactic hero. I honestly don't know a single person that has ever had a bad thing to say about him. When Sophie and Rolo first met, it was pretty clear she was something special. You're amazing together, and it's clear to everyone here you were made for each other. So just over a week ago, I messaged each of you separately to ask what you felt were your future spouse's greatest qualities. Sophie, you said Ariel was laid back, tall, dark and handsome, and has always embraced your weirdness. Ariel, you said Sophie was happy and organized, but remarkably, there were two things which both of you mentioned about each other, kind and caring. From the minute I met you both, I knew this to be true. What better qualities can you wish for in each other? Fate decided they were meant to be together. And now married, let's raise our glasses and drink to forever, Sophie and Ariel. I guess it's a pretty standard trope to thank your guests for coming to your wedding, but I feel under these circumstances, it shows how important it is to share special moments with loved ones. It truly wouldn't have been the same without you. Thank you for joining us on this special day. <laughs> to my wife, Sophie. Look how beautiful she is today. We've been together for over five years now after meeting on a dating app. It's crazy to think if I had fumbled and swiped left or if the app's algorithm was slightly different, none of this would be happening today. The 
first time I met you in your home in Cockfosters, I got down on one knee to untie my shoes. And Paul quipped, he's proposing already. But little did you know, it would not be for another four years that I would get down on one knee with the intention of proposing to your wonderful daughter, Sophie. You are the most organized person I know. A number of guests have told me how impressed they are by the fact that you've already sent thank you cards out even before the big day. You are kind, gentle, caring, and most importantly, because at least one of us should be intelligent. The past few days, I have been living alone in our new home. And whilst it allowed me to play plenty of computer games and string my tennis rackets, I can't imagine living the rest of my life without you. And today means I won't have to. So please raise your glasses to my wonderful wife, Sophie. <laughs> 